Today we're going to review and test the Life Sun Honey Sump. Hello, I'm Griffiths. Welcome to Winning Griffiths. Today we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews just like this video. Now it's extracting time here, bring back. I'm extracting the Gwyneth Griff honey. And I've spent a bit of money this year and upgraded the kit that I've got here. Now extracting over the years, the big bottleneck has been the filtering, getting all that bits of beeswax out the honey before putting it into storage. And this tank is what I've invested in, this is what I've purchased to speed up that process. Now it's a lice sun, honey sun. The idea of this is you extract the honey. It comes out in its raw form, full of beeswax, full of crud and bits. This has got three different filters. You put the honey up in there, it works its way through. We've got a big tap on the side here which you can either pipe up to a pump or bottle or put in the buckets direct from here. Works really good. We've got a, a heater control here so the heat goes from 30 to 50 degrees. We set this at 30 degrees. We don't want to heat it up to much more than that. The honey hits 30 degrees within the hive naturally outside in the summer's day so you're not changing the texture or damaging the honey at all by heating it up to 30 degrees just makes the whole process of extracting honey a lot easier so come here and i'll show you inside right so we take this lid off comes with a nice lid keep that on keep the honey nice and clean and help it increase this temperature much quicker and as you can see there that's working absolutely brilliant. Right down here on the right, we've got, that's the raw beeswax, full of beeswax, that's how it comes out of the honey extractor. If it goes through the first filter, cleans it up a little bit, but that there is the same grade as that, but over here we've got the double, so that brings the, the fineness down. You can instantly see there's a massive difference there, and right at the back here, that's the clean honey. Now I'd probably say that's good enough to go in the jars, we might have to put that through uh, another finer filter once more but this probably holds, I don't know exactly but I'm guessing not far off 3 quarters of a ton goes into filling this and then you can start putting it into storage this saves a huge 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 amount of time having a big honey sump like this because just warming the honey up to 30 degrees makes the filtering a load easier I'd highly recommend you do that, but don't go over much over 30 degrees. You don't want to damage the honey. So let's have a look at the control box. It's really easy to operate. So it's saying 30.2, 30 that's the temperature in there right now. If I wanted to increase that, you've got the plus button. You just hold that in. Numbers go up, so that's on 35. I'll bring that back down. And that goes to 30. You've got an on and off switch there and another master on off switch there, a fuse there if the fuse were to go. But apart from that, it's a really, really easy honey sump. Cost wise, it's from Lice Sun, so the cost was very competitive. And we've got a Lice extractor, we've been using Lice for a few years as well as other makes. And uh, I'd recommend uh, Lice as a company to supply your beekeeping equipment. So I've only had this a week, very, very pleased with it so far. And this gets a thumbs up for me. Thanks for watching. Now if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try and put a new video out every week. Thanks for watching.